Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greeting to examiners. My name is Nur Aisyah Nabila binti Arzmi. My case number is 54959. My supervisor is Dr. Nur Amalina binti Muhammad Zaki. My title for final project is Understanding the Trends of Consumer Behaviour Post Outbreak of COVID-19. Okay. First of all, I go through to introduction. According to Anna et al. 2019, infection illness pandemic provide substantial and unique ethical issues to public health planning and practice. Next, the Wuhan Health Commission of the Republic of China's Hubei province informed the National Health Commission, China's CDC and WHO of a cluster of 27 cases of pneumonia of unknown origin on December 31st. 2019. This patient had a slew of symptoms including fever, fever, dyspnea, and a dry cough. A radiography result revealed bilateral glazy opposite in the lungs. The public health agency also linked all 27 cases to Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market, which sell live buds, snake, pangolin, and budgets by Prime LO 2019. A credit to Grande. 2009, a consumer is someone who organizes a need or one purchases it, it and spreads quickly. This uh, discards is it during the consumption process. The utility of a typical consumer is determined by drug consumption of agricultural and industrial items, as well as services, housing, and money to suit their daily demands. Consumers have a wide range of tastes. Consumers' buying and shopping habits, as well as their consumption patterns, have been completely altered as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, social isolation, and lockdown regulation. New means to distribute or confront fear, a fair and danger shifting demography and technological advancement by Don to at all 2020. Okay, next research problem. Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, customers have been hoarding in ways that are especially different from their typical purchasing habits by eager at all 2021. Consumers hoarded necessary items such as toilet paper, bread, water, meat, disinfecting and cleaning goods during the epidemic such as uh, such a purchase behavior has been noticed through though the world during the COVID-19 crisis as a common reaction to the uncertainty of future goods supply by shape 2020. Uh, lastly is economic progress has a major influence on society nowadays and one of the things that has changed the process of buying and selling product and services. Literature review. First of all, the teacher review is changes in consumer behavior post outbreak of COVID-19. Consumers have reconsidered their purchasing habits while also discovering benefit from services they had never used before. Some customers are shifting to online purchases after discovering the scarcity and convenience of home delivery, store pickup, and cashless payment by Pantano et al. 2020. The government prepared for a lockdown by closing schools, restaurants, some shops, and public services, which may have sparked fear of a terrorist attack by Lato et al. 2020. It is speculated that customer shopping patterns will shift over time. There are four key settings that regulate all this this uh, this group consumer habits social contacts for example changes in the workplace and interaction with neighbor and friends new technology implementation including online shopping and delivery the impact of new rules on consumption habits the covid pandemic regulation and less predictable contest the global covid-19 pandemic by sheet 2020 Okay, next, um, next literature review is the trends of consumer behavior post outbreak COVID-19. First of all, definition of trends. What is trends? Trends can be defined as understanding the patterns of trends. It is one technique to see into the future by human 2008. Trend of stockification or stockpiling. Despite the Fact that Oromanita International 2020 predict that the tendency of stockification will halt depending on the length of the MCO. News about the problem had highlighted the global supply system flows. Furthermore, report of food shortage have hiked 
Pastor must consent by Punk at all 2021. People are worried of buying online, sh- online, which has resulted in significant fluctuations in the amount of order placed for various categories of items such as groceries, healthcare, luxury, and fashion by Glohotra and Day 1 2020. However, from offline to online trend as a result of government policies, for example, social distancing restriction, revenue from offline retail outlets are declining even more since the first COVID-19 case was discovered in Wuhan in December 2019 by Moon 2021. Before COVID-19, consumer utilized offline or online purchasing channel selectively depending on their unique needs. However, in a cram Uh, Chromecastance where COVID-19 is likely to last for a, for a long time. Customers are predicted to use online shopping channels actively in a short amount of time. COVID-19 has influenced consumer habits across a variety of digital platforms. The epidemic has had a significant impact on consumer behavior, sales volume, and the broad, and broader supply chain. Okay, next I go through to our research objective. The main objective for this research is to understand the trends of consumer behavior post outbreak of COVID-19. Other objective of this study are first, to explore consumer purchasing behavior post outbreak of COVID-19. Second is to understand whether consumer panic buying when purchasing post outbreak of COVID-19. Okay, um, research question. The main research question of this study is, what are the trends of consumer behavior post outbreak of COVID-19? Uh, the research question of this study are first, how do consumer purchase post out post outbreak of COVID-19? Second is, do consumer panic buy when purchase post outbreak of COVID-19? Okay, methodology for this research is qualitative. Methods, semi-structure interview. The semi-structure approach will be utilized to receive the primary data from business in Malaysia. Owners or staff of companies will be asked questions regarding the behavior of their consumers. Until data saturation is achieved, each interview will be approximately 60 to 90 minutes. Each interview will be recorded and transcribed. Transcription in Malay language will uh, will then be translated to English. This is a semi-structure interview guide for semi-structure uh, interview guide. Be uh, divide uh, six section. Okay, so I go through one by one. Section A to obtain information about respondent. Section B to obtain information about respondents company. Section C, to explore general information about the trends of consumer behavior post outbreak of COVID-19. Section D, to explore information about how custom, how consumer purchase post outbreak of COVID-19. Section E, to explore information about whether consumer panic buying post outbreak COVID-19. And last but not least, Section F is closing statements. Analysis, qualitative, semi-structure interviews. Uh, first, uh, transcribed by the team, translated to English, non-English transcription, and thematic analysis. Okay. This is a flowchart of activities for this research. Research milestone. Okay. Last but not least, this is references for this research. Okay, thank you. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you for your attention.